Hello guys, so welcome to No Bill of Carolina EDC Views. We're back here at the range at the Off the Egg Training Solution. Thank you again to the sky for letting me use the range as usual. Make sure to check them out. They have a YouTube channel as well. So, as you see in the title video, we're looking at the Springfield Hellcat RDP. Uh, if I'm not saying that's what it's called. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is going to be their uh, model upgrade model. Uh, they do have... Uh, different models again without the optic or with the optic or this one comes uh, directly from the manufacturer with a red dot and a compensator so a pretty good feature about this compensator let's go start with that uh, it has a uh, latching mechanism on the bottom to be able to take it off here just by pressing down on it and twisting it all the way off and it index right back to where it needs to so no screw no lock tie no that stuff you have to put it which is pretty neat so if you need to take it down to clean it uh that's makes it a lot easier for the uh shooter so some of the cool features uh again it comes with two magazine one is going to be uh kind of flush mostly but it's got a little bit of uh extension here uh it do come with a 13 round magazine and then this one's got the pinky extension which is 11 rounds which makes it even more compact. I can still put my hands on it, just like you see. I don't have big hands, so that's pretty cool. Steel magazines, which are good magazine, never had no issues out of them. Uh, so you got the compensator, you got some uh, U-notch type sights uh, dots on it, which is uh, night sights on the front, U-notch uh, on the back, no dots at all, which I really like. Uh, that's the way the Hellcats come with, uh, but some of the other firearms as well. Uh, you got front selections to be able to manipulate the slide, rear, back, very nice, easy to do press checks. Uh, again, you got the red dot, just the hex was. So it's the for the compact size pistols. They do have the dragonfly, which is a much bigger red dot uh, as well, which uh, Springfield is uh, owned by this. Uh, Springfield owns hex <laughs> optics um, company here, which that's what they use on the Hellcats. But anyways, uh, you got a light rail here. I'm not sure about how many different lights can fit, but there are some options out there you can put on it. I'm not running any light on it, so uh, you have your uh, slide release, which is easy to actuate, not hard to press. You got your takedown pin or takedown lever right here, might you say. Uh, the texture is very nice, which is not bad at all. It's not too aggressive, not, li li not, not very smooth at all, but uh, it works just fine. Uh, you have some index point in the front, which is pretty nice to put your uh, thumb or your index finger. So that's pretty neat. Uh, uh, the mag release, it is, uh, you know, sometimes harder release depending on which magazine you use. Uh, if you use on the uh, pinky, you know, you might have to readjust your fingers out the way so it will drop, but it do drop freely, which is good. Uh, as far as being reversible, I think it is reversible. So if you left hand shooter, you can probably change it to the other side. No safety on this. Now, if I'm mistaken, I do have some options for safeties as well, but I don't like safety. So uh, this one works well. Now they do come in FD as well, which is pretty nice as well. And yeah, pretty much it. Now the trigger was one of the debates that was going on when the first come out. Uh, I did used to add the uh, own the Springfield before I got this one that uh it, it wasn't optic radio no it wasn't this model but uh i was having issues with the trigger where it would not fire uh on this you know if you push slightly push it to the side if you try to get your finger there in the trigger uh, the trigger would not fire at all and when i push it now they say this resolved that issue but uh this one does does it just a little bit not as bad as my first one that i had but uh you know the trigger does function just fine. 
it does have a little bit of safety here, the lever that you have to press to, you know, of course, get it fired. Uh, but it does have kind of almost a flat trail, which is very nice. I really like that. Uh, nine millimeter. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's take some shots and uh, see what I think about it. So stay tuned. All right, guys. We got a uh, few rounds there. I think I got 10 rounds in here. 150 grain. Let's see if we side it in. Uh, it's a still target. So here we go. That is not started in all the way where I want it to be, so I have to aim to the right a little bit to hit the steel. So uh, let's put some more, more rounds to it. As far as the recoil uh, with the compensator on, uh, I really can't tell much difference. I wish I had my other one, but uh, still a little snappy little gun. Of course, smaller pistol like that is going to be a little snappier because of the uh, you know the barrel size and being so small. Of course, you know, depending how big the grip is uh, and all that. So uh, let's put some more rounds on paper here and see where that red dot is hitting at. We're going to take our time and see where we at on paper. All right, here we go. All right. Let's go for the head on the target right here, seven yards. Take our time. Left outside the head, rest on pretty much where I was aiming at, so pretty close. I guess just need to take my time with it. Let's use the uh, extended mat here, just kind of get a better, uh, better grip length on it. Let's see how accurate I can be more with it. This time, we're gonna shoot, shoot the steel, see if we can hit it. And again, we're using 150 grain, nine millimeter. Ball ammo. I do have a few hollow points I'll run through, just make sure it functions as well, it feeds. But so far, it had no malfunctions at all. Try to do this. All without editing or stopping the camera here. All right, we got the extended mag here. We do have better purchase. Uh, let's shoot this steel this time and see if we can hit it. Here. Running 24 grain 9 millimeter. See if I have any more here. No, I don't have any more. So, <coughs> oh, there's one. All right, so hollow points got a few four rounds in it. Just want to make sure it runs and feeds. So, if you a lot of people want to buy this pistol for self defense, so you want to make sure it runs defense ammunition hollow points. All right, let's see if we can hit the steel this time again. So it went fine. Let's take a few more shots. Hi guys, we have ran the RDP Hellcat here. I hope I'm saying that correct, RDP or RPD, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but 
but anyways this is the hellcat again this is coming straight from the factory with the red dot and the compensator uh again i like the hellcat i like the way it feels the grip is very natural to me the texture could be a little more aggressive but that's just my preference but it does work just fine uh the red dot is nice visible red dot again it comes with the factory and this is the hex uh was red dot here they do have the dragonfly like i mentioned before it's a little bit bigger for four more full-size pistol uh the only thing not as far as the pros goes i mean it's a good little pistol very concealable very slim uh again i'll put all the specs down below weight all that good stuff but as far as shooting it uh again compensator really i don't notice any difference uh it is very very loud than typically it is with this compensator i guess makes it a little louder but as far as flat shooting it uh i can't really tell no difference as far as compensator maybe the ports needs to be a little bit bigger the ports are not too big uh you got three of them maybe it's to me a little bit bigger in my opinion maybe that you know keep it more flatter at shooting but as far as the 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 dot goes it works fine uh it does need to be sided in a little more uh and you have still capability to use your iron sights which you can see right through it uh and again you got the night side and everything in the front you got your capacity of 13 rounds again and you got 11 rounds but as far as the gun goes it shoots nice been reliable haven't had any issues again with the trigger situation when i had before my previous hellcat uh i think they might have fixed it i don't know but i can't really tell uh it does sometimes don't want to fire but it's not doing it on this one as much as the other one did was constant uh trigger goes but again i like to have a flat shoe in here which i really like like that a lot as far as the trigger pull uh let me show you here on camera let me drop the magazine it is empty but trigger pull you gotta take up break reset break so it's not the best trigger but it works just fine uh again this is for concealed carry so you don't want a very light trigger in my opinion uh if you're going to be carrying this uh, as far as holster go there's several codex manufacturers that do have the uh, Hellcat RDP uh, models holster for it. So if you had a, they had the OptiCut, the, you know, the hole in the bottle for the compensator to be able to carry. But, you know, price is going to range. Again, you can get the FD as well, which I like the FD better. Uh, but, you know, everybody got their own preference. Again, the slicerations, not too deep, but you can still rack and manipulate the gun, do your press checks. And just, just as far as the gun goes, uh, it just fits real well um again uh there is uh aftermarket trigger uh support out there for this if you like change i think apex make one if i'm not mistaken uh trigger after my trigger for the hellcat but as far as accessory go there is some support out there starting to be out there uh magazines again they're real nice to drop freely still magazines and again you got 13 round plus one so you got 14 round just as much as the full size out there but you have enough firepower to be able to, to conceal carry and uh, have a small package as well so yeah that's pretty much it as far as the pros everything seems to be working just fine the con the only con really have is how much louder it is uh, didn't really notice that on my other one but i don't know if it's the compensator or what but it is a little bit louder uh, but as far as effective to keep the gun down, uh, can't really tell as much unless I have the other one, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching again. Thank you to Springfield for sending the Hellcat RDP. Really like it. Very compact, uh, very small and a lot of, uh, capacity in this small package here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know if you have a Hellcat, if you have any issues or let me know if you have the, the RDP model as well. And just tell me, comment down below what you think about it, if you have any issues or what you think about it, or even think about getting one. Uh, you know, I think it's a great pistol for concealed carry. Uh, got everything you need, already optic mounted from the factory. You can put your plate back on. It comes with everything you need to change it out. If you don't want to compensate it already, you got a thread protector. If you don't want to carry the compensator, you can take it off as well or just put a different compensator if you can. I'm not sure of that because the barrel has to cut.
for the latch up here. So as far as taking it down, just like any other pistol again, just take it down right here and everything and take it down very easily by, um, you know, cleaning and everything. So, all right, I think I've talked enough here. Thank you again to Springfield, if I didn't say it again, for sending the Hellcat RDP for the channel test out. I really like it. Uh, much better improvement. Uh, just more overlook, uh, overall feel of the Hellcat, which I really like. But other than that, uh, make sure to follow me on all social media. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to uh, follow me on all social media. A lot of stuff going on there. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all that good stuff. You know where to find me. Just Google me. You pretty much find me anywhere. Ah, uh, So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. As usual, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.